A Fox News alert and America's top law enforcement officer is on the ground now in Ferguson, Missouri. The Attorney General, Eric Holder, meeting with community leaders and federal investigators in the Michael Brown shooting case. His visit comes as a grand jury begins hearing evidence in a process that could take weeks. Joining us now, criminal defense attorney Anahita Sadagotfar and Fred Tisi, a former federal prosecutor. Let's start with you first, Fred, because as a former federal prosecutor, uh, Anahita, uh, you know, we just mentioned in, in that lead in, the, the grand jury is just beginning to hear the evidence. Why not wait for all of the evidence to come in, for the, for the facts to come out, and then make a decision? I absolutely agree. I mean, this is highly, highly unusual for the federal government to get involved in a case like this so early on. But obviously, Holder is going out there. It's more of a symbolic gesture to show the people out there that the administration is taking this case seriously, that it's a priority for them, and also to kind of calm the tensions, to calm everybody down. And I get that because the world is basically looking at what's going on in Ferguson, the, the country, the world. But the issue really is, John, is can Holder Holder be objective? Can he not personalize this case? And sadly, I mean, so far we know he's made a couple of statements publicly criticizing the local police out in Ferguson. That's improper. He was criticizing the police response to the protest. He was criticizing the release of that surveillance footage of Mr. Brown committing the robbery prior to the incident. And I quite frankly think he should know better. Yeah. Here's what his boss, the president of the United States, said regarding. Um, this this matter on Monday I have to be very careful about not prejudging uh, these events but he doesn't want to look like he's putting his thumb on the scales one way or the other why does he not tell his attorney general to, to hang back right. and and let the facts determine how this case proceeds right because are you suggesting John that there's a disconnect between what our president says and what he does I mean I find that uh, I find that outrageous. <laughs> or maybe between what our president Shocking, says and what his right? attorney general does well but the attorney general works for him I'm them along with dozens right. of FBI agents and I've seen that same Correct. kind of tension in cases that I've covered uh, this report from the New York Times or this quote I should say mr. Holder has been tracking the events in Ferguson uh, since he read the first reports a few hours after Mr. Brown's shooting. He dashed off an email to aides asking to be briefed by morning and eventually grew angry that over his objection, the local authorities released surveillance video showing an apparent robbery by Mr. Brown. You referred to that video, Anahita, earlier. It's, it's almost right. as though the attorney general is convinced that this is an innocent uh, young man who was killed. Correct. And he doesn't want the waters muddied right. in any way by showing this six foot four, 300 pound, 18 year old shoving a, a store clerk around as he walks out with some cigars in his hand that he didn't pay for. Absolutely. I mean, they are calling for transparency in this investigation. That video had to be released, and I would argue it's highly relevant because it goes to the officer's state of mind. It also possibly goes to the victim's state of mind. Did he have a propensity for violence? And when you Correct. see the attorney general publicly criticizing what the police are doing when this investigation is ongoing, it's so improper. And I get that these protesters have every right to be protesting. It's their First Amendment right. But the fact is, John, there are... There are looters. These protesters, a lot of them have been violent. They're attacking yeah. the police. They're throwing Molotov cocktails. What do you want the police to do? To be sitting down in suits? No, right. they're going to be dressed Look. in military gear. They're going to ride in SWAT trucks because it is their duty to make sure that nobody gets hurt and they need to ensure order within their jurisdiction. So I think the comments it, it, of the it, president, quite frankly, are very contradictory with the actions of the government. Fred, so very quickly. Well, well, well I got to tell you, look, John, if it did. Anahita Sadagafar. Thank you both. Thanks for having me. Thank you, John.